Welcome back to another machine learning project video. This is Roshan Sarek Matthew and in this video, we will be looking at creating a machine learning model on the diabetes dataset. So what is this dataset about? The dataset that we are working on is originally from the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases and the objective of this dataset is to diagnostically predict whether a patient has diabetes based on certain diagnostic measurements in the dataset. So what I am going to do in this project video is perform exploratory data analysis on the data to get an understanding of the data that we are dealing with, then create different machine learning models to see which model performs best on the data that we have, and then use this model to make a prediction for a new and unseen data. And since this is a classification problem, we will start with the logistic regression model and then try out the different algorithms. The data set used in this video is available on Kaggle and I will be sharing all the required links in the description down below. So make sure to check them out. Before moving forward, if you are new to this channel and want to see more content like this, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification to stay updated for more interesting content. Stay tuned. So let's first import the required libraries for creating a machine learning model. So we are importing pandas and numpy for basic data operations, we are importing cborns and matplotlib for displaying the plots, then we are importing style to set a style for the plots and here we are setting the style as cborn, then we are importing standard scalar to standardize the data, then we are importing train test split to perform train test split on our data, then we are importing the classifiers, logistic regression and support vector machine, then we are importing accuracy score and classification report to measure the model performance. Finally, we are importing warnings to filter any warnings that might occur in the program. Now let's load the data into a data frame. Then we can use a head function to see the data. Now that we have seen the data, let's use the info method to get an overall idea of the data. So this gives us an idea of the number of rows, the columns and the data type of the different entries in the data. To get the overall size of the data, we can use a shape attribute. So that gives us the shape of the data. To get the statistical details of all the numerical entries in the data, we can use the describe method. So this gives us a count, the min, the max, the different quartiles of all the numerical entries in our dataset. Now let's see the distribution of the different classes in our target variable using a count plot. This shows us the count of the different classes in the target column, which is the outcome. So from this, we get an idea that we are dealing with a classification problem as the output is either 0 or 1. Now let's plot a heat map to find the correlation in the data. So that is the heat map for our data. Now if you want to know in detail about heat maps using Seaborn, 
I have done a separate video on this topic and I will add the links in the description down below. So make sure to check them out. Now if the heat map seems to be confusing, you can use this option to see the attributes that are more correlated with the target column. So this column gives us a correlation of the different columns with the target column. So if you look at the bottom, you can see that glucose is highly correlated to our outcome and the least correlated one is blood pressure. Now let's separate the target column from the entire data. Now let's plot a histogram of all the numerical entries in our data. So from this, we can see a distribution of the numerical data in our data set. The next step is to standardize the data. So let's load the scalar function. And then let's fit the data on the scalar. Let's load the X and Y data once more. Now let's perform train test split on the data. Then let's print the shape of the train and test data. So now we have the shape of the training and the testing data. Now that we have done some initial analysis on the data, perform pre-processing and split the data into training and testing sets, let's train the data on different machine learning classifiers. Let's start with the logistic regression model followed by SVM model and see which classifier gives the best model accuracy. And then based on the model that gives us the best model accuracy, we'll make a prediction for a new and unseen data. Let's first train the data on a logistic regression model. So let's load the logistic regression model. First, we are loading the logistic regression model, then we are fitting the X train and Y train on the logistic regression model, then we are predicting the value for the given test data, then we are calculating the accuracy and printing the accuracy. So let's run this cell and see what the accuracy for the logistic regression model is. So the logistic regression model gives us an accuracy of 75.32%. Now let's print the classification report as well. Now let's experiment with the support with a classification model to see if this gives a better result.
and then let's run the model so this model gives an accuracy of 75.97 which is only slightly greater than the logistic regression model let's change the random state to see if there is any change logistic regression model gives 74.6 percentage and the SVM model gives 75.32 percentage so since the SVM model is giving a better model accuracy let's go ahead and use the SVM model to make a model prediction so to make a model prediction let's input the data and then pass it to our SVM model That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you got an idea on implementing a machine learning model on the diabetes dataset. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. And also, please do leave a like and subscribe to the AIDS channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.